this morning finds me in Oxford at uh, Josh Bonnet's club. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me over the hum of the uh, Class 165, which is opposite me on platform 3 here at Oxford Station. Oh, you must be able to hear that. Now it's having a uh, slow service to uh, Big Pop, which they have to run because they cancelled the electrification from Big Cop to Oxford, so they now have an electric train that runs to Didcot and then you change onto the diesel at Didcot to Oxford. So um, today I'm um, visiting some difficult stations. King Sutton, glasses are steaming up because uh, that only has a two hourly service. And then I'm going to return home on the Chiltern Railways and uh, go to Princess Risborough and visit Monks Risborough and Little Kimber. And that has an hourly service and a fairly long wait at Haddenham and Tame Parkway. And I finally get home at um, between quarter past four and quarter to five. So my football is going to be interrupted, although I would attempt to watch it on my mobile phone on my way home. So let's see how things go. Platform 4 for the 0824 Great Western Railway service to Banbury. Calling at Tackley, Hayford, King Sutton and Banbury. This train has two coaches. Train stops in zones 7 and 8. Cycle spaces in zone 8. So this is it, my train to King Sutton. Going for another day, and I've probably had to combine this with a walk along the Oxford Canal because again this only has a two hour service. Yeah. Should make a nice pleasant Sunday afternoon stroll between these two stations. The station is right next to the canal. I think this is uh, Hayford Wolf. I expect there's a nice pub here. Arrived at uh, King Sutton at 8.46. I've now got half an hour wait to catch the uh, return train back to Oxford. A lot of flooding in the field. I've walked to the end of the platform and you can see here a lot of, lot of moisture. Uh, whether, whether it's always here or not, I couldn't tell you, but I doubt it somehow. And there's then some more over here as well. Lots and lots of water. And here's King Sutton Station in all its glory. King Sutton doesn't feature in my 1984 southern, western or eastern region book so therefore I don't have very much information but I can tell you that it's actually got quite a good service a two hourly service as, as I said to um, uh, Didcot and it's also got a hourly service to uh, London Marlebone so it's, it's not too bad and it also serves the town of Brackley and the station was open in 1873, and that is, oh, yes. and it had about 87,000 passengers in the 2019-20 uh, figures recently released. This is not my train, it's a Chiltern train. Place for fast trains. The 
The next train at platform 2 is the 0913 Great Western Railway service to Didcot Parkway. First thing along is the way to Knott's. to 11, quarter to 11 almost, and I'm back at Oxford Station, I've just been into town to have a cup of coffee and a croissant with my brother, and now I'm uh, going to catch the 11.09 train to Haddenham and Thane Parkway. So this is my uh, train to Haddenham and Thane Parkway. Where are we change trains? I doubt that can be read. It says 1217 London Marlebone on time. So here comes my next train. 1217 to Princess Risborough. It's very difficult to hold the camera steady. That's such a long focal length. Better move because I'm beside the yellow line. Apart from that gentleman and his uh, baby. We're the only people on the platform. Oh, somebody else coming. Right. Nice, I've arrived at Princess Risborough. I have been here before. I walked here from Goring and Streetly when I um, completed... Well, I didn't complete, I did a section of the old um, Ridgeway. Um, whilst I was at school, I'd walked from uh, uh, Avery to Going and Streetly. I then did this bit, Going and Streetly to Princess Wilshire. And then with a friend of mine, a couple of years later, we then did the final part, which was Princess Risborough to Ivanhoe Beacon. So I have been here once, and I was totally knackered, I could hardly walk. And the Princess Risborough. Is working over there. Excellent. So this is the uh, Princess Risborough and Chinel Railway having their Santa special. That's past 33 at the other end. Here's the class 33. The driver's having his lunch. Right, I'm now going to walk to Monk's Risborough and hopefully I'll catch the one o'clock departure from here. If I don't, I'll continue to walk to Little Kimball and then catch the train back from Little Kimball, which will then take me back to Marleybone. The crossing of Roach Line. Just missed it. It's pulling out the station, so I've now got to walk to Little Kimball and I've got to get there by 1.41 and it's now five past one, so it should be doable as long as it's not too muddy. That's what helped me out. It's not much here, it's just the one wooden platform and that's it. There we go. Right, crossing the uh, branch line again. Uh, it's not so muddy. I think I'm going to make it. Not that far to go now. There's no trains coming because the next train along is the one I want to catch. So that's towards Isle Kimball and Aylesbury, and that's towards Princess Risborough and Monk Risborough. Oh dear. 
coming out of the path now. Um, since I crossed the branch line a short while ago, it's been very muddy. As you can tell by my boots and trousers. Anyway, I've got six minutes! Oh look, cute little station building, now a house. That's smart. And here we are. And here we are. Little Kimball Railway Station in all this charm. Little Kimball Railway Station was opened in 1871 and was a stop on the Wickham Railway. In the latest passenger figures, 2019-20, it had just over 7,000 passengers a year and it had been on an upward spiral. Almost missed it, wandering down the platform. Adventure over and done with. I'm now departing at 13.41 and I should get home about half past four. This train is for London Marylebone. The next station is Mountainsborough. So Little Kimball Station was opened in 1871, was part of part. Middle of my teeth came out. Little Kimball.